This video introduces Scribner's auto multi-gas units for the 855 and 850 fuel cell test systems. The auto multi-gas unit facilitates automated, hands-free switching between test gases. For example, it is common to characterize a fuel cell with air as well as pure oxygen at the cathode. The auto multi-gas unit allows switching between air and oxygen without having to disconnect the air supply and connect the oxygen supply, a manual and time-consuming process. The auto multi-gas unit consists of a series of computer-controlled valves and a control module. Up to three gases can be connected to the anode and three gases to the cathode. Installation of the auto multi-gas unit for an 855 or 850 fuel cell test system is quick and simple. Begin by removing the four 850 chassis screws. Line up the holes on the auto multi-gas unit with the holes on the 850. Attach the anode supply and cathode supply tubes from the auto multi-gas unit to the anode fuel and cathode oxidant gas inlet fittings on the back of the 850. Loosely attach the swage lock fittings, but do not fully tighten. Reinstall the four chassis screws and tighten the auto multi-gas unit swage lock fittings. Next, connect the gas supplies. Anode gas supplies connect to the upper section of the auto multi-gas unit and cathode gases to the lower section. Here, hydrogen is installed to port A on the anode side. Air is connected to port A of the cathode side and nitrogen is connected to port B on the cathode side. A T-fitting is used to split the nitrogen supply so that it can be connected to both the purge gas supply on the 850 as well as to cathode port B on the auto multi-gas unit. Again, up to three gases can be accommodated on both sides. Plug in the power supply and connect the cable from the auto multi-gas unit to the auxiliary signals connector on the 850. The installation is complete. Now we can configure the fuel cell software so that it knows which gas is connected to which port. In the Instrument Configuration window, select the Auto Multigas tab. Under Auto Multigas Type, select Three Port, switch between ports A, B, and C. Next, check Used Gas Ports and uncheck Unused Gas Ports. Enter the gas name, Pure Fraction, and Flow Correction Factor. In this example, anode port A is supplied with pure hydrogen, while the other anode ports are unused, and therefore unchecked. The hydrogen supply is pure, so the pure fraction of reactant is 1. The anode mass flow controller in the 850 is calibrated for hydrogen. Therefore, flow correction is not required and the flow correction factor is 1. Cathode port A is connected to air. Air is 21% oxygen, so the pure fraction is 21%, or 0.21. Because the cathode mass flow controller in the 850 is calibrated for air, flow correction is not required, and the flow correction factor is 1. Cathode port B is supplied with nitrogen. Being an inert gas, there is no reactive component or fuel content to this gas, so the pure fraction is 0. As far as the cathode mass flow controller is concerned, nitrogen behaves just like air, so the flow correction parameter is again 1. Uncheck the unused cathode port C, select OK, and save the modified instrument configuration settings. Close and restart fuel cell to apply the new configuration settings. Select Setup Fuel. Note the option to switch between air and nitrogen as the main cathode gas. A change fuel experiment can also be used to change the reactant type using the auto multi-gas unit. A very common use of the auto multi-gas unit is to switch from air to nitrogen as the cathode supply in preparation of diagnostics testing that requires hydrogen on the anode and nitrogen on the cathode. Such diagnostics include in situ measurement of the hydrogen crossover flux by linear sweep voltammetry, as well as electrochemical surface area, or ECSA, and catalyst utilization by cyclic voltammetry. An 850 fuel cell test system equipped with an auto multi-gas unit and a Scribner 885 potentiostat can now be fully automated to switch between standard fuel cell operation using hydrogen and air and the 850's load and these common diagnostics with nitrogen replacing air on the cathode and the 885 potentiostat employed to perform the voltage sweeps.